On this episode of Raffle Waffle, we're making us a frequent fan suggestion. The cheese waffles. Yeah. We got a bunch of cheese hanging out over here, and we're just we're just gonna go wild with the cheese. I'm gonna make a, a classic grilled cheese. Wero has a uh, cheesesteak in mind, and Lofa, he's gonna have the funny one. <laughs> <laughs> Cabrizi bitches. <laughs> All right, let's get to it. Waffle number one. So here we go with some cheddar that I'm gonna turn into the buns of my grilled cheese, basically. We've discovered that just putting cheese in a waffle doesn't work so well. Uh, it doesn't really give it a lot of flavor, so I'm going with a super strong flavor cheese here. And I'm going at a low temperature so it doesn't burn. Rob Koppel says hello. Hi, Rob Koppel. Hello, We're Rob filming Koppel. right now. Right. Oh, Main Event Pong just joined. Hey, Sorry. Main Event Pong. Watch up, Nuff. Snuff. Snuff. <laughs> yeah, alright, so let's let that go for a while and see what happens. Like, legitimately green? Not. <laughs> it's stuck to the top. <laughs> yes. Store you over here. Woo. Get one. another one going. So, let's see, I think the low temperature was a good way to go because that one's turning out pretty good. Yeah, so we got. Are you gonna panini this bad boy? Cheesy afterwards? waffle wow. with some cheese in the center. This is gonna melt fucking everywhere. 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 But you know what? Uh oh. I'm all right with that. Ugh. Oh wow. Oh off. god. Oh <laughs> wow. Oh, I am so fucking excited. Right. <laughs> Wow. I, okay, I gotta say, this is a pretty soft waffle right now. So I got some banana sauce, because I think this is gonna be delicious with this. It's sort of like ketchup, but bananas. It's bananas, D A bananas. <laughs> Look at how cheesy that pizza is. Burn, dude. It's crazy. Oh, it looks so good, Pink. It's hot. <laughs> the cheese levels are on point. <laughs> the Jufrang is the kicker. Winner, winner. <laughs> cheese dinner. <laughs> I really love this waffle. It is so fucking cheesy rich. I like how the two combined into but one it, solid it, waffle. Yeah, like, I thought it would be more like a actual sandwich, but no, they just sort of like, the cheese was the glue between the two waffles and, and it just kind of, of like, <laughs> you're basically just eating cheese. <laughs> but I'm okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of dig it. Oh, the fuck's on the cheese? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, I'll eat a block of cheese by itself, but that's a lot of cheese. <laughs> I don't know if I necessarily needed the, the, like, I think it would be better if it was dipped in tomato soup. We actually have tomato soup. We should have tried that, but. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, like, if you, like, take this and then after you melt the cheese in the middle, maybe throw it in a pan just to get it a little crispier. Because the overall texture is really soft. It's pretty soft, yeah. So, yeah, like, if the waffle was crispier, that'd be absolutely awesome and yeah it'd be great if we dip it in like tomato soup let's see um, mm, 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 mm. yeah that's cheesy <laughs> that is real cheesy that's really fucking good but it's good in the way that like 39 cent box macaroni and cheese <laughs> is good <laughs> <laughs> it's good in a way that only fat man can appreciate. Exactly. Especially with the um, the Jufrain. Yeah. It reminds me of just like fucking oh, yeah, <laughs> pouring a cheese or pouring a, like a bottle of ketchup over <laughs> <laughs> some macaroni and cheese. But it tastes really good this way. Like this is the decadent way to enjoy those flavors. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I heavily approve. Um... It's just real cheesy. And that's good. Never had a waffle like that before in my life, and I'm totally down for another one. So, two thumbs up. Making the Philly cheese and jigger. Chopped up a uh, uh, beef right over here, you know. The, it's a Philly cheese steak. You gotta have steak. Mm -hmm. Get out of my fucking way, Lofi. I'm sorry, Lofi. I'm sorry. Ah, damn. I need it, hydration man. or the lack thereof. Fuck. That right. damn Snooky back there. Mm, Lofi wants smush. Smushy smush. I'm gonna clean that cheese off here. Oh, um, yeah, probably good idea. Whee. 
And then. <laughs> and then. Philly. The steak Oops. is a Philly. And the fortune's cookie. Well, the now pepper. There's, the now pepper there's, of the Philly. Now there's meat in the uh, waffle batter, but that's alright. And the cheese. And the cheese. Oh, <laughs> that is some browned cheese. The topping, the obvious syrup to this waffle. Yes. The cheese whiz. Well done, well done. <laughs> ah! <laughs> but that's so good! The way that the provolone caramelized on the other side, then you have the, the cheese whiz on this side. Mmm, that's fucking good. Ugh. I think it was one of the best ones that I've made. Yeah, personally. that's a handful of filly right in your mouth. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's that that is really, really fucking something else. I think maybe a different cut of meat. Mmm. The meat's a little little tough, but it's a considering we I got a fucking mm. cheap ass steak and said fuck it. But yeah, it's still it tastes like a filly. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Hmm. The cheese is dominant. <clears throat> I don't know if I got most of the uh, cheese and not a lot of the topping, but yeah, it's 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 heavily cheese. <laughs> That's a cheese waffle. That's a cheese waffle, man. Come on. Yeah, it's definitely cheese waffle, but it's just like not a lot of the Philly cheesesteak is present. It's still really good. If this was on a menu somewhere, it's like why not? You have a Waffle House and this shit isn't on there. I would. I would be totally down to vote for this waffle into said waffle house. Because <laughs> the shit isn't there. You know, you're going to get like the five syrups of blueberry and fucking pecan and shit. No, man. Cheese whiz. <laughs> That's what you need coming out of your carafe. And yeah, probably going to put your friend on there. <laughs> your friend would be nice. Definitely reminiscent of Philly cheesesteak. As it should be. I think bro is right. The the cut of the meat's a little chewy, so like you gotta maybe even thinner cuts that are like just flash fried or whatever. But it, I mean the flavor's there. The flavor is fucking there. And you know what? You need even more flavor of the syrup. So here we go. This is the this is the appropriate amount of syrup <laughs> to put on this waffle. <laughs> this is how you're supposed to do it. Uh. <laughs> it's like eating 12 Big Macs at the same time. <laughs> it was fucking incredible. Here we are. We are doing Caprizi waffles. Caprizi. For that tomato, basil, uh, vinaigrette, Balsamic. mozzarella. Yeah, thing you get as an appetizer. But now we're going to do it as a waffle. Oh, you're wearing it already. Yes. Bit of batter. Bit of batter. And we're gonna do some basil. Yeah, bitch. Now we're gonna take some string cheese and we are going to just give it some proper latticing. Mew, 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 mew. Oh, my voice is gone. Alrighty, this is plenty of cheese to be doing this you with, so. Uh, yeah, that's right. Boom. Oh, no, so gotta have that Hashtag. Hashtag. Hashtag cheese waffle. Let's coat these a little bit on the top and then slam this bitch down. We're okay with oozing so long as it just gets the job done. Ew. While we're doing that, we are going to go ahead and chop up our tomatoes. Hey, Jack. Oh, yeah, it is, it is stuck. <laughs> it is stuck as fuck. <laughs> you might be able to come back from this. I was able to. Oh my god. It's gonna tear off the band-aid. Oh my god. Oh no! Ow! 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 ow. <laughs> Look at that. Goodness. <laughs> so we're gonna get some nice healthy basil paste on our waffle. A little bit of my balsamic. Oh my god! And we'll go ahead and we'll 
cover up our mistakes with our tomatoes. <laughs> How about let's not? How about let's have them go everywhere? No one has ever wearowed so hard. Not even wearow. <laughs> yeah, it's not caprizi. It's not gone awful either. I just find myself wanting for more cheese. Because when you get a caprizi at the at the restaurant, it's like they give you like a half inch slice of mozzarella. Oh yeah. And it's like you have to have enough there to make it like, you know, part of the part of the bite. And it's also not string cheese. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and here it's like all the other flavors are coming through, but it's just not enough cheese. How about that? Cheese waffle, and I totally fucking fucked up the first part of, like, having a cheese waffle. Way to wear it, Luffy. <laughs> that was really squishy. <laughs> Is that just juice every... Yeah. Um, it's got every flavor of a caprese other than the cheese. Oh, that's such a favorite. Like, if you were to, like, take, like, little medallions of the the string cheese and put it on top of it as well, I think it might be there. But just cooking it in the batter when it uh, when it starts to, to, to brown and just changes the flavor completely away from it. But the, yeah, the, the I don't think you were heavy handed on the balsamic at all. I think it really works well with it. Here we go. I had to add extra cheese because of, I don't want to hear that complaint. I want all the cheese. Cheese waffles. So I still completely agree with all the things said, it actually still needs more cheese even with the extra cheese. If you had that giant medallion, like you both said, of a uh, mozzarella, fresh mozzarella that they always have in Caprese salads, that'd be delicious. Maybe not executed perfectly, but still a great idea and still pretty goddamn good. And what we've learned here today is that cheese is good. <laughs> <laughs> you just now figured that out? is pretty good. <laughs> All right. Hey, go share, like, subscribe. This has been Raffle Waffle. Thank you for watching. Don't hate subscription! <laughs> like a mouse! Like a mouse! <laughs>